Hey, Jenny Lakenan here. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your first blog post to your website. Now, this is how to publish a blog post to a WordPress website specifically. So I'm going to show you how to find a, a photo that you can use on the featured image and how to edit it. I'm going to show you how to put in your text so that it's all formatted really beautifully. And I'm going to show you how to schedule it so that it will um, appear on your blog right when you want it to. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is um, actually to source a photo and write the content for your post. Um, it's possible to write the content directly into WordPress if you want to, but usually I find that like it's easier for me to draft the post either on a Word document or in a Google Doc um, or somewhere else just because that's just the way that my workflow works. And <laughs> so that's how I'm going to show you to upload the post today. So I actually have a blog post that walks you through um, a couple of my favorite my favorite sites for sourcing of free stock photos. Um, so I'll link this below in the video so that um, or in the description so that you can read it if you want to. But essentially, um, free stock photo sites are 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 okay um, for like if you're just needing a few pictures now and again, like maybe once a week for a blog post or something. Um, if you're going to use them extensively, then there are other places that you can go um, to get like paid stock photography. But for most coaches, usually free stock photos work fine. Um, I actually really like Unsplash, and that's the site that I have sourced my photo from today. So once you've got your your photo, go find one that you like and download it that um, and make sure that it just, you know, it, it pertains to your post and, and makes sense with the post that you're writing. And then actually write your post. Um, and then to actually put the content into your website, what you can do is go to your WordPress dashboard. You're going to log in and go over to posts. And then you're going to click add new. And then I'm going to go back to my sample post and just copy my title and paste it in here. And then I'm going to copy my text. So you can see here I've put in a couple of headings. So this is a heading two heading two and then another heading two down here and these are just normal text paragraphs but what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy that and then go back to my wordpress post and then i'm going to right click and click paste as plain text and the reason that i'm going to that i do that is because if you paste as normal text or just control v um, which is what a lot of us do if we're using the keyboard then it pastes it if you come over here to this is the html like code version of the text if you co come over here you'll see that it brings in a lot of like weird styling and stuff that makes it kind of hard to actually style and it doesn't use your default website styling as as much so what i like to do is i'm just going to undo that is i like to just paste as plain text and then i come in here and i add in the headings as needed and I add in same thing when you paste as plain text, it also will remove any like bolding or um, any links, which is which is um, inconvenient. But for me, it's worth it just to go and put those few things back into the post um, instead of having to like mess with the styling to get it just the way that I want it. So that's what I kind of recommend you do. That's been my workaround. So I've got the post content styled all the way that I want it to be. And then the next thing I'm going to do is come over here. And if you have categories set up on your blog, then go ahead and pick a category. Um, the default is uncategorized, which, you know, if if there's a place where that category appears on the front end of your site, which it does by default on a lot of WordPress sites and themes, um, then, you know, it'll just say uncategorized, which isn't very inspiring. This is just a nice way for people to be able to navigate your posts. And it also is friendly to Google. It tells Google that you've got a lot of really great content. So. I'm actually going to tag this one as a tutorial. And then the other thing, the next thing to do is to find your featured image and set your featured image. So if you click on that, it'll pull up your media library. You can see I've got I've got a pretty full media library because um, I've been using my website for a long time. Yours might be relatively empty. Totally fine. Um, and so I've got my image over here that I've already saved for for this post. The thing, though, is if, if you click on it, you'll see that the image size is five megabytes, which is really big. Um, and most stock photos, as if you down like when you download them off of Unsplash or wherever you're finding them, they're usually pretty large in size, which is good because if you're using them for, you know, various purposes, you want the highest quality version that you can get. But in the case of a website, we actually need to shrink down that size. Um, otherwise, it's going to cause our page to load a lot more slowly. 
So the, the easiest way to do that is to come here to tiny PNG. I'll also link this in the description below. Um, and I'm going to refresh this page so we can start from scratch. And this will actually just shrink your file um, for you, which is super nice. And it, it shrinks it um, with, it shrinks it losslessly, which means that it doesn't actually degrade the quality of the image. It doesn't make it blurrier, which is really nice. The only thing is though, it takes, it only takes up to five megabyte size. So you'll see that this one is actually too big to use um, with tiny PNG. Most pictures you'll be able to put in here, but if you get this error, then the other, the next thing to do is to come over to Pixlr X, just Pixlr slash X. You'll see I was already playing with this picture. Um, and go ahead and open your image in here and it will ask you to resize the image. So I'm just gonna click to save it for, I'm just gonna click the web version because I want it to compress it a lot. And you can see it does, com the, the thing with Pixlr is it does compress it um, lossy, which means that it does like degrade the quality of, of the image, but you can, you can barely tell. Um, so like, that's not a problem. All right, and then you can see that it, it looks good. So I'm just gonna save it. And when you save it, you'll see that it actually gives me a toggle bar that I can have the quality be higher or lower. If I go way low, you'll see that the size is actually like 60 kilobytes, which is really small. I probably don't, don't want it to be compressed that much. I'm actually gonna go up to like 95% because as long as this is under, you know, between like 300 and 500 kilobytes, then it's, that's a pretty good size for a blog post featured image. So. I'm gonna put it there and then I'm gonna download this and I'm just going to save it so that I remember what it is. This is just our sample image compressed. Then I'm gonna come back over here to my blog post. Let me move myself. I'm going to, to upload that picture. I just dragged it from my, um, from my load, download bar there, but you could also go to upload files and click select file to find it. And then I'm going to set that as my featured image. So it pulls it up there. And then the last thing to do is just to schedule your post. If you want to publish it immediately, you can just click publish and it will publish right away. Um, if you want to preview it before you publish, then you can click this little preview button, which I do recommend doing that just because then you can see exactly what the text looks like. So that looks pretty good. Um, if you wanna schedule it out in, in the future, to publish in the future, what you do is you come over here where it says publish immediately and you click edit, and then you can change the date. So I'm gonna say publish, say like tomorrow. You can click okay, and then click schedule. And that will get it scheduled on your site. So that is how you, um, how you publish your first blog post to WordPress. No, I, I want to offer you um, below this video, I'll have those links that I mentioned earlier. And then I'll also, I also have a link to a content creation framework, which is essentially the outline that I use to write, to create any content for marketing, really. I use it to write blog posts. I use it to record videos like this. Um, and I just have found that it's a really useful tool to make sure that my content is going to be valuable to the, to the reader or the, or the listener or the watcher. So I'm going to link that below. You can go get that download. And then also if this video was useful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel to get future, um, tutorials and tips to uplevel your coaching business.